If you are looking for the best prices on PC parts, then it's always a good option to consider the used market. And right here at Tech yes City, every month we go looking for used PC parts, whether we like it or not. And it's the end of the month and it's that day. And we've already got some deals lined up here where we're gonna pick up an RTX 3080. And this just came up early this morning. Actually, I think they listed it late last night, but early this morning I messaged them and I said, would you take 400 Aussie dollars? And they're asking 500. And then they came back and they said 450. So we're gonna pick that up really soon because they have to, I think, go to work by 9.30 a.m. And then also after that, we've got a power supply, an EVGA power supply that is going for 50, but we offered them 30 Aussie dollars and they agreed to that. So we're gonna go pick that up. Also, we're in a bit of a hurry here. I've got my keys in my hand. So we're gonna go hit the yes mobile, go get these two deals and then talk about what else is on the used market as well as the used market in general and what's the strategy going into this month right after today's video sponsor do you need to get windows 10 or windows 11 activated and don't want to spend 200 dollars or some other exorbitant price well if so today's video sponsor vip scd keys has you covered for as little as 15 dollars using the coupon code bftyc you can get windows 10 activated and for a little bit more you can get windows 11 activated too Links in description below to find out more. So we're now back at the new Tech yes headquarters and we've got three deals on the table. And the first is that RTX 3080. It looks like it's in really good condition. I did meet the guy at his place and he was in a hurry as well. And he did tell me that this morning. So we gotta test this thing out later and make sure it works. But then also we've got here a power supply, 600 watt uh, XTC from Cougar. And this was looking like it's in really good nick. We got that for 30 Aussie dollars. It wasn't the EVGA, sorry. I did message on an EVGA power supply, but they haven't gotten back to us. So I messaged on a couple of power supplies. And then also as we were driving, this deal popped up and it was in between different places. So we got this 500 watt here for 20 Aussie dollars. So always need power supplies, always need GPUs. And there's just certain staples in used PC parts hunting that you're always gonna need. And so power supplies is just one of those things when I see them like half price of the price that they are brand new, I'm always gonna pick them up because that's just savings when it comes to a gaming PC flip. Anyhow, what we're gonna do from here on in is we're gonna go see Les and sorry if we're in a bit of a hurry, it's just <laughs> we've got now a lot of different things moving in. You may notice it's a new scene here. We've got a new tech yes studio in the works and that's a mess at the moment, but that's gonna need some time. And of course, I do wanna get this parts hunt done as a ritual every one month. So let's go hit up some more deals where the next deal that we've got here is in, it's near Les, so we're gonna go see Les, but then there's this other deal where there's a whole PC minus the RAM and the GPU, and it's a, actually a pretty decent deal. I think it's like a Ryzen 5000 or something like that, but it's got a decent motherboard in there and i put down an offer of 150 they came back at 180 i said 160 they came back at 170 so i'm like man they're really itching for that little bit of extra money so we're going to use this whole pc in the 100 flip up challenge where i've already sold two of the three pcs in that challenge so it is taking a little while it is a bit slow because the pcs are <laughs> real entry level but they are moving so we've only got one more to flip and then we'll start the next episode on that series but in the meantime i'm going to use a bit of that budget to pick up this next deal. And then there's also another deal for five power supplies, but they are missing some of the modular connectors, but we're getting them, I think they're 850 watt power supplies and they look like they're really decent. So we're gonna try and get that and we'll check it out. And hopefully the power supplies don't smell and they look like they're in good condition. And then hopefully I can just at, at worst rewire some SATA connectors because that's all they need. I think they've already got the PCIe connectors on them hardwired to them so they're semi-modular 
They got the 24 pins as well as the CPU pins. So power supply is good. I also put in a heap of offers of DDR5 memory and some other GPUs too. I did look at some RX 9070s and 9070 XTs, but people were really holding firm on those 9070, 9070 XTs. And I guess it's kind of like, for me personally, I'd rather buy brand new from the shop if it's only like $50 difference because you just know you're getting that guaranteed warranty when it's direct. I have had problems in the past where I've bought from certain stores and then there's been a warranty claim and they've been like, well, you're not the person who bought it. We have to go through the person who bought it. And it just creates a lot of hassle. Anyhow, let's go hit the road, take Yes Mobile, go get some more deals. So we just picked up this whole system here, except it's actually not a whole system. It's just got an X570 motherboard in it, the Ryzen 5 3600, and a Wi-Fi card, and then this old school Stormtrooper case. Now, I kind of do like these cases, but this one will definitely need a big clean. But what we've got right now is on the road, actually this morning I messaged this guy about an RTX 2080, and I just said, look, I'll be in your area in around maybe 20, 30 minutes. And then he said, sure, meet up with me, even though he was kind of very slow to reply earlier in the day. So hopefully we've got some good GPU deals coming up with RTX 2000 series. We've just got to see what extra stuff they had because they did say they had multiple graphics cards. So let's go check out this RTX 2000 series deal. Unfortunately, I did say we're going to go see Les as well, but Les didn't, didn't pick up his phone. So <laughs> that's a uh, hope he's okay. But um, I'll try to give him another ring. And then after that, we've got those Raid Max power supplies. So let's, uh, let's keep this rolling. So about an hour ago, we saw that guy for the GPUs and he had the 2080, but then he had the listing for the 2080i. And I went inside and started talking to him and he was just clearing out all his crypto mining GPUs. And he then had a stack of 3070s and he's like, are you interested in these? And I checked them out and they just look dirty, really. They just need a clean up. And he said, everything works fine. So what happened was I said, how much do you want for the whole eight GPUs as a bulk deal. And he then said 1,850 Aussie dollars, which I think he started charging me 250 for a 3070, which I was like, yeah, that's really good. And then he charged me 600 for the two 2080 Ti's and a 2080. So we've got some really good deals on GPUs, but I do want to check them out. Obviously I'm going to get them back to the Tech Yes Studio, clean them all up and then run the core clocks on them as well as run the mem slider just to make sure they got a bit of health left in them and he did say if there's any problems bring them back uh straight away so i want to check these gpus straight away anyhow after that we then had to scoot over and grab these five raid max power supplies and they ended up being, they looked pretty good, but he didn't have the additional cables, as we said before, the semi-modular cables. But ultimately, we've just been lining up all these deals, and I kind of want to beat the traffic, which we're kind of getting stuck in now. So it's about 4 p.m., and now we're getting stuck in some really bad traffic here on the highway. Plus, the weather is just really bad in general today. It's been raining the whole day. But what we've got lined up now is while I was waiting for the GPU guy, I got some messages back for DDR5 memory and actually two people messaged me back on two different kits of 32 gigabytes. And so we're gonna pick up one of them now because it's just literally on the way back to the studio and just off the highway. So like a five minute det detour. And then we later on, when there's not so much traffic, even on the Gold Coast, this stuff is unbearable. It's like 
literally like a 110 kilometer zone here and we're doing like 30 kilometers it's so bad the traffic right now and once we get back we're going to pick up later another 32 gigabyte kit of ddr5 memory so we've got two more deals lined up after this one and so yeah it's just so far it's been really good this parts hunt there's a lot of deals coming up on the Friday. So maybe a lot of deals hunters locally here are doing it on the Friday night, Saturday. So I guess getting in on a Friday morning might be my new meta shift for getting absolute bargains. But actually, also one more thing is, I did take a look at that PC and I did ponder on it, that Stormtrooper one, the, the Cooler Master Stormtrooper, whatever it was. And I was like, man, that wasn't such a good deal in hindsight. I'm kind of like, we just got a motherboard, a Wi-Fi card, a 3600 a CPU cooler and the case for 170 so I was kind of like man it's such a mediocre deal like I know you guys come to Tech yes City for the deals which we pretty much like 95% of the deals are but this one unfortunately it just falls into that 5% of being just such a mediocre deal I just thought about it. I was like man the 3600 I think they're going for pretty cheap nowadays like they've actually dropped a lot in the last six months to the point where last year they used to be like a hundred Aussie dollars. Now you can pick them up for like 70 day in, day out. So I'm basically paying a hundred dollar premium now for a motherboard and a case and a Wi-Fi card. And then the motherboard itself, the X570 Phantom Gaming 4, from memory, it's not that good. It's like one of the entry level X570 boards. Anyhow, it's not that bad of a deal. It's just easily it's stacking up, I think. It's probably the worst deal I've got of the parts hunt so far. So we're now back at the studio with all the stuff here on the table and unfortunately we are missing the last deal which is for the 32 gigabytes of DDR5 memory and that's because the person just stood us up. We got to the place where they were at and then I'm messaging them for like 10 minutes trying to call them on Facebook and it's just like just getting ghosted. So I was just like left a salty taste in my mouth and so <laughs> What we got here is the GPUs, they are looking pretty dirty and we are going to just catch some sleep and then wake up and start cleaning the GPUs out and then just running through the power supply test on the power supplies, checking that all out, making sure everything works fine as well as trying to find some new deals. And here we are now at the next day and we have cleaned up all the parts on the table and we've started testing all the power supplies. They came up A-OK. -okay. And then the Cooler Master rig that we got with that motherboard and CPU. Once we put some RAM and a GPU and a power supply in, everything works there. But then the graphics cards that we got, the initial RTX 3080, that works perfectly. Doesn't even need a thermal paste change. Everything's checking out great there. But then that bundle that we got for the 530-70s, the 22080 Ti's and the 2080, one of the, actually the only 2080 doesn't work. And then also one of the 3070s doesn't work either. They're just giving out no signal across either a HDMI port or a display port. So I think they're just both buggered. I did message the guy, I did say, look, can we get some kind of refund going on here? because it's straight away, it's happened straight away after a couple of weeks. I mean, that's my own bad if I tested them out working and they're gone, but when they just got no signal from the get-go, I'm just gonna contact the person and say, look, can we work something out? So hopefully he's able to a, a, get back to me and just either give me a refund or he said he, he had some other cards there that he was still 
going to test and so maybe we can get them changed over though checking in on more deals this morning the market is pretty much completely empty at least in terms of good potential deals however one thing i'm noticing is that the pcs in general like 3060 ti rigs are now going for about 800 aussie so the gpus we're getting them cheaper but it looks like all the the main prices of gaming pcs themselves are coming down in price so it looks like a trend on the lower and mid-range rigs is that they're coming down in price and then those 5090s and things like that they're still overpriced but also that person with the ddr5 memory they got back to me and they're like oh i'm so sorry i didn't check my messages and this is like in the morning i'm like why list something if you're not going to check on it especially if you've already arranged an address for me and said like message me when you're on your way and i gave them like literally like about two hours leeway time before i met them so i was really annoyed about that and they said oh you know do you want to come and pick it up today and i said well <laughs> not if you're not going to check your messages and i left them my mobile number so they could just contact me directly and they haven't contacted me directly but i mean oh why do some people just why do some people even bother selling stuff on marketplace if they're just going to be that unresponsive it's just like i don't even want to get that ram anymore it's like someone else can good luck with it i mean <laughs> waste half a day if you want to trying to pick up a 32 gigabyte kit of ddr5 memory anyhow all that aside guys we got the deals and we'll throw up the tally here because i'm pretty confident the guy when i met him yesterday seemed like a stand-up guy with those gpus so he just said contact me if there was any problems so hopefully we get them either changed over or some sort of deal worked out there and with that aside i'll throw the tally of what we've got this month in terms of working parts up on the screen as you'll see here, I think those GPU deals are pretty good considering a month ago, the GPU prices were pretty expensive. And I just got back from Taiwan where the GPU prices in Taiwan are ridiculous. I've actually got like a half done vlog on parts hunting in Taiwan. If you guys want to see it, I was just waiting for Marco to get back to me. He had something in, uh, I had a favor that he was going to do for me in terms of fixing a GPU. I wanted to include it with that. But if you guys want, I can release that. It's sort of like a vlog. It's not that serious. And I mean, in terms of the prices over there, they were horrendously bad. I'm surprised because this is the place that makes the parts, right? And the prices are that bad. It's kind of like, I mean, the contrast and the opposite of that was when I remember Japan, like I'd go there and they make all the cameras there, Canon and Sony and stuff. And you could get the cameras cheaper in Japan than you could anywhere else in the world. And then they soon kind of realized foreigners were doing that and getting cheaper cameras so they locked out the english menus on a lot of the cameras and so that was really annoying but at least the japanese camera companies take care of the japanese people i'm just surprised that these taiwanese manufacturers don't take care of the taiwanese people so really kind of just odd and at least not even like keeping the prices relative to what you can get it overseas for it's just like more expensive anyhow we got a vlog on that if you guys want to see that let us know in the comments and with that aside, do let us know your favorite deal of this month. I tried this morning looking for deals, more deals, and nothing really came up. So do let us know what your favorite deal was this month. And with that aside, I'll be coming back to you maybe in a week's time with a new studio as well. That's in the process. I look forward to maybe if you guys want to see a vlog on that too, I can make that happen. But all in all, thanks for tuning in so much, guys. I'm all recovered now from Taiwan, all rested up. It did take me about a week to get back into action after that week of just like... Uh, eating pretty crap food i mean i'm gonna be honest pretty crappy food i was eating over there and um just yeah working way too much just constantly on the go over there so back to normal now back in the rhythm and hope you guys have been enjoying the content too so if you got any requests uh, drop them down below too and with that aside i'll catch you guys in another tech video very soon peace out for now Bye.